Hey guys, Aaron here. Um, I just wanted to talk uh, quickly about um, a few things tonight. It's like midnight as I'm recording this. Um, before I get into it though, if you hear any beeps, it's Facebook. I'm talking to a friend right now. Um, but I just thought I'd quickly do this video. Um, I wanted to talk about the new Battlefront. I haven't really spoke about it too much. Uh, that we, Since Disney bought the rights to Lucasfilm uh, and they cut... They, killed off LucasArts, they shut them down and everything. Quite wrongly in my opinion, but you know, what's been done has been done. Uh they EA has now got the rights to one of the franchises that a lot of people, including me, hold dear to our hearts, which well, not just the I mean the Star Wars franchise, but they in particular the Battlefront franchise. Um which had two games which were on, I believe, GameCube, Xbox, and PS2. I have them on PS2. I know they were on Xbox and I think PC, but I don't quote me on PC or GameCube, but I know it was on Xbox and PS2. Absolutely phenomenal games. Uh, I loved them. And the sequel, Battlefront 2, was more or less the same, but it was everything you wanted from a sequel multiplayer game. You wanted more weapons. You wanted more classes. You wanted more uh, special features and abilities, like you could play as a Jedi and all of this now. Like where in Battlefront One, I remember I was like, "Oh, there's no, you can't kill the Jedi's." I swear, you shoot them from behind. They always deflected it with a the lightsaber. They always had a way of stopping you shooting them. And like, you have to gang up with your team of about twenty to kill these sons of bitches. Nine times out of ten, when I played, I would be second on the. I always, I didn't I never played it online because I'll get into that in a minute. But when I was, uh, when I was playing, I was always second on the leaderboard because Darth Vader or Mace Windu or Obi Wan or Yoda or whatever. We'd always be number one because they were pretty much fucking using god mode to cheat bastards. But I have fond memories of Battlefront. Um, I never played it online for the simple fact that the net play feature that play Sony was introducing uh, wasn't as good as Xbox Live. And I don't think their online service has ever been as good as Xbox Live. Uh, with the PS4, though, I feel it's getting better. But the maintenance updates are kind of annoying me already. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be going... Uh, I'm, I'm, if I get this game, I'm going to get on PS4 anyway, this new one, but you know, it'll be better experience, the servers and stuff and all of that are better now the uh, Netplay though, you had to get an adapter and I bought the adapter for like 20 quid and I got a code, but Sony had produced the same code like 20 times and I just got my money back and it was no big deal uh, so I never played online but um, I played Split Screen with a friend it was okay, but it was kind of like it was, it was a game that had so many goddamn bots in it that you couldn't really tell if you were shooting you but the other guy or whatever, you know. It's kinda of like playing Battlefield now, but everyone's AI but one guy. And it's a sixty four player game, you know, so two of you are real. It, it no. It, it yeah, but with the new one, uh what Dice is gonna do is they're gonna essentially take Battlefield and skin it with Star Wars. And the main reason I want to talk about this is because after the disastrous launch of Battlefield 4, and it still is a bit glitchy. I know Ben's going to be like, oh, they fixed it now, they fixed it now. He's like, literally, I don't care what he says. He's a Battlefield fanboy. Because every time I say, oh, it's so glitchy and all that, he goes, oh, but it's fixed now, but it's fixed now. Yes, it is fixed now. I understand that, Ben. I understand other people that are saying that. It's fixed a lot better. There are still issues. There are still hit detection issues. And the game is still a bit broken with texture pop-ins and shit. Uh, there's this one bit where this guy shot a wall, like um, he was on the like balcony of a building, shoots the like uh, brick kind of, I guess you could say, um, that's, sorry Facebook, I don't know what you'd call it, but uh, it's like just the balcony area, it's like the railings or whatever that stop you from um, falling off. He shot the shit out of it, there's a gap in it, he throws the grenade, the grenade bounces off of nothing, there's thin air essentially. And essentially, two seconds later, before the grenade blows up, oh, that bit of the uh, the um, the brick rubble has appeared again. It, the brick is now somehow be able to regenerate. That kind of bullshit. Uh, I fell through the map counts numbers of times. Maps didn't load. Maps crashed when a big event like Siege of Shanghai happened. It was very rare, but Angry Joe went through it a few times. He said it was like when the skyscraper crashes down in Siege of Shanghai, it crashed the game on his PC, it crashed my Xbox 360 once. The game looked ugly, admittedly it was 360 and PS3 standards, but it could have been better, I mean, come on. Uh, it could have been a little bit better. The texture popping was unbelievable. I know it's Xbox 360 that I played, I know you're saying, oh, play on PC, noob, or play on a next-gen console. The fact is, though, it, the, 
even if I did play it, besides the fact that it looked better, this is what PC gamers don't realize. Just because it looks better doesn't mean the game in general is going to be less glitchy. Okay, Battlefield 4 is just as glitchy on it was is and was just as glitchy on PC as it was on old gen, current gen, or next gen, whatever you want to call it. It is. It doesn't matter. The gameplay is the same fucking shit. It just looks better. Shit. It's better looking shit. That's all it was. So, for me, with this new Battlefront, when, Di when DICE was announced to have it, this is before Battlefield 4 came out, I was like, yes, I, I feel they are the perfect developer. Battlefield is fun, it has great vehicle combat, uh, that is actually quite balanced. Um, the gunplay feels realistic, but good at the same time, and fun to use. It's very, and because of the fact that there's recoil and the guns are a little bit harder to use, when I get a kill, it's more satisfying, I feel. Like when I get it, it's like, yes, I really worked hard and I earned it. But COD, it's like, yeah, shoot there, shoot there, shoot there. Like, the guns that half of them don't even have fucking recoil. You can't bullshit me about that. So, you can't really... Sorry, it's my brother. You can't really, uh, you know, you can't bullshit me about that. There's like, how many guns in Modern Warfare 2 didn't move? And what was the worst gun? It was the F2000 that moved. <laughs> it was like, come on, really? So... Uh, I feel they are the appropriate developer. Then Battlefield 4 launched, and I was like, oh my god. And I literally had a lot of anger and a little bit of worry. Anger because I had paid £40 for this piece of shit game that was te really not even out of the fucking gamma stages. It was lucky to be out of pre-alpha, the condition it was in. I've essentially paid for a beta, which is ridiculous horse shit because a lot of people pre-order games now for this thing which is bullshit but you know it's it's essentially hey we've got this old thing we made do you want to play it early it's essentially here's an unfinished demo that we have laying about would you like to play it that's pretty much what a beta is now because if you were playing a live beta this would be something that is happening now and they're testing and they're updating Destiny is pretty much done I played the Destiny beta I'll get into that another time but I've played the Destiny bit. They're already nearly done with the game. They're just taking this stuff for the people are saying from the beta and you know, go, oh well that still might be an issue. Let's have a look into that. That's pretty much what Bungie's doing, and they do good jobs with this Bungie, I give them that. But uh, getting back to Battlefront, it's it I was angry because I'd paid forty quid for this broker piece of shit, but I was also worried. Because I was like, oh my god, if this is the state Battlefield 4 is in. What the fuck are they going to do with Battlefront? Plus, they had to spend a lot of time uh, not making DLC. <clears throat> sorry. Not making DLC and not making Battlefront because of the condition that Battlefield 4 was in. It is. It was in such a bad state, they literally cancelled. Well, they didn't cancel, but they postponed a lot of shit. So not only did it push Battlefront back, but potentially it's also pressured them on Battlefront more and also if they haven't been able to push it back I don't know when it's coming out 2015 they just said 2015 but if it was still coming out for the same time they'd already originally planned then now they've had less time on it and that's not good they need to postpone Battlefront and if EA goes oh but we didn't make money that year tough shit you should have had the game ready when Battlefield 4 was done you're not if it, literally I will not be pre-ordering Battlefront. I want to get this game so bad because I've been waiting since, like... When does it say on? I'm just going to get Battlefront 2. I believe it was, like, 2005, 2006. It was when the, the first film came out. Uh, 2005, yeah, when the third film came out. It was, like, I think about six months before the third, like, third uh, episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, came out, which I still like, but whatever. Um, when that came out, so we've been waiting, it'll be, when it comes out, it'll be 10 years since the last Battlefront game. I'm looking forward to it, but we haven't seen much beyond alpha footage. What is there looks good, but we've been, I've been fooled before by you, Dice, okay? With the Battlefield 4 look great. You weren't falling through the fucking floor in the gameplay demo as well. You weren't fucking shooting people and the bullets were going through them like ghosts. Buildings weren't suddenly re-fucking constructing or changing like a transformer. So I ain't believing shit till I see videos day one of people playing it. That's why I'm not pre-ordering it. I am not pre-ordering a game to waste potentially a five pound deposit. But I know I can get back, but I ain't gonna do it. If I mean I'd rather use that fiver for food or lunch. So I'm not gonna I'm not doing that. I am not pre-ordering the game. It doesn't matter how many pre-order bonuses you throw me. Oh you know there's Boba Fett. Oh you have a unique, probably OP gun. I don't care. 
how much shit you throw at me, EA, or that dice, I am not pre-ordering Battlefront. Okay? You go, oh, well, you get uh, exclusive seating for uh, Star Wars Episode Seven. Bitch, I work at a cinema. I'm allowed to see the film, uh, like, for free when, uh, when, I, when I start work properly soon. I don't need to fucking have a pre-screening. Or, I... It's retarded. So it doesn't matter how much shit they throw in on 2015. It ain't happening, eh? EA or DICE. I ain't pre-ordering the game. I will watch videos the day it comes out. Um, see what... If it comes out in America, a few days... It usually might come out in... Because EA does their games Tuesday in America, Thursday in Australia, New Zealand, and Friday in the UK here and, and Europe. So if I see gameplay on Tuesday, and it looks fine... And everyone's saying, you know, it's pretty good, fine. I know there's going to be a lot of people probably doing this because about for four. And there's enough time for me to pre-order. Yay, I'll pick it up on the Friday. Failing that, I'll just pick it up on the weekend that it comes out. No big deal for me. Uh, but until I see it and I'm satisfied, I ain't, I ain't getting hyped, I ain't getting interested, and I ain't buying. Uh, because I don't trust you guys. I'm sorry. I do. I, and every other dice game that comes out, same thing. I ain't pre-ordering them. I ain't... You know, I'll show interest, but I ain't getting hyped. I ain't bothered because chances are I'm just going to be let down like Battlefield 4. Uh, 4. I didn't mind 3. It was a bit glitchy, but I was like, hey, it's not too, it's not too bad. 4. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? So that's enough of that. But yeah, in my opinion, don't pre-order Battlefront. Don't buy it day one. Uh, because until you see uh, the real, real hardcore Star Wars fans that play because there's two things. One, you'll piss off gamers like myself. But doubly, are you like you think the backlash you got the dice get got for Battlefield Four was bad? Oh fucking hell, they fuck up this game. They're gone. They're fucking get because you know, like I said, we waited ten years for a Battlefront game. A lot of people who aren't even fans of Star Wars who love Battlefront have been waiting ten years to play another game. That actually, they, there was one in development that had alpha footage that I just saw on YouTube, like before making this video. Looked pretty fucking good actually. It looked more or less like two point five, but nonetheless looked good. And that was cancelled after like three years of development. Looked fine to me, but whatever. I would have bought it. But, you know, we waited ten years for this game. So not only are you going to get the flack from gamers, Star Wars fans are going to come down on dice like a ton of fucking bricks. So don't you fuck this up. I know it's a lot of pressure for you guys, and I understand there's a few glitches. Don't get me wrong. A lot of, every game has, a gl has glitches. Yes, even Perfect Half-Life has glitches. But we don't want to be falling through the fucking floor. We don't want to be shooting in TIE fires and the bullets, the, the, the plasma rails, or the, the laser beams or whatever, are flying through fucking cruisers. We don't want that shit. We want a fun Battlefield experience style with Battlefront. It's the perfect combination. Just don't fuck it up. Please. Thanks for watching.